out here, in our line of work, our most important commodity is definitely time. There are so many examples of how drones have revolutionized so many industries, and search and rescue is definitely no exception from that. Today, we're using the Matrice 200. It's DJI's newest enterprise aircraft. It's a series of drones built to withstand the harsh conditions that we are working in. Rekur Thor, 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 In the past, we're tied to the ground in either vehicles or in the air by expensive helicopters. Now, with the advent of drones, we're able to scan larger areas in less time with less manpower. Historically, the only disadvantage has been battery life. But the M200 improves on that using a two battery system, allowing us up to 35 minutes of flight time with one gimbal. And also, the new self heating system inside the batteries ensures that we can keep flying even in sub zero temperatures. The entire drone is built for efficiency. Its foldable design makes everything easier, from transport to takeoff, making sure that we can be in the air within a few minutes of arriving on site. This far north, in the wintertime, we only get about four hours of daylight. When people's lives are at stake, having an aircraft with thermal capability is crucial. With the Zenmuse XT, we have eyes in the dark and can keep scouting throughout the night. Its new propulsion system allows us to fly heavier payloads, even in windy conditions. We've been able to bring radios, food, and even medical supplies to people that are stranded in places that are very difficult to reach. And with the onboard FPV camera, we still have visibility, even though we've replaced the gimbal with supplies. My favorite feature is definitely the ability to mount two gimbals at once on the Matrice 210. With the X4S and the XT thermal camera mounted side by side, we're able to capture two different images in a single flight. That way, we can analyze the thermal images in much more detail by comparing them to the high-resolution footage from the X4S. Obstacle avoidance is another feature that I am very excited about. The built-in flight autonomy system can recognize obstacles above, below, and in front of the aircraft. This has helped us maneuver through tight spaces like a glacial crevasse, which makes things safer for our climbers because we can go in beforehand and scout out the best place of entry. The M200 series has outperformed on so many levels. It's the most versatile aircraft that I've ever worked with, and yet it still delivers the power and reliability that I would expect from an industrial platform. Most importantly, it gives us more time in a day, and out here, that's what saves lives.